Creepings everybody, welcome back to another episode of Serious Gears Adventures in Project Ozone 2 Titan Mode. Uh, last time we worked on some of the draconic evolution stuff, and I can't fly because I don't have my helmet on. And in the end we tried to craft the dire crafting table, we finally have it! Bam, there it is! Looks fancy. And of course we have this gigantic uh, interface, and there is actually plenty of recipes that we can do here, um, or could technically do we don't have the resources for them this one of course we could make we could make some angel rings uh, like I said it's not really something we need because we can already fly I guess the only thing you could do this or use this for is to get some of these wings because you get some cool wings on your character we might do that in the end I love the infinity color change there <laughs> it looks so cool um, but it is also gonna be the uh, project E stuff right like this stuff Philo Philosopher's Dawn. So this is definitely not too bad, but there's still some things we haven't uh, done at all. Specifically the Elementium, which is, it requires the portal to um, Nilfheim from Botania. So that's something we have to definitely look into very soon and make some progress with this mod. Oh, look at the sunrise. But I don't think I'll do that today. I kind of want to look at going to different planets, uh, not planets, <laughs> dimensions now. Uh, so I want to work on the... Oh, we have a few dimlets here. The Dimensional Builder, uh, Inscriber, all kinds of things, right? And I probably... Oh, I don't have ink sacks. How many machine frames can I make? I don't I don't think I can make too many. Um, I need these dice. I think I have some though, right? No? What are they called? No, I do. They're just called Technicolor. Uh, also, I'm recording this back-to-back with the last episode, so if you guys mention anything about the farming station that I had uh, asked you about, then I have not seen that yet. I'm recording right after the last one. Okay, so let's get the inscriber, the builder, and we need a dialing device, and we'll also need a matter, just a transmitter, I guess, because we can teleport back on our own with our tablet, so I don't think we need... We need the other one for now, so I'll just get the transmitter, and I'm, that might be enough. Do I, yeah, I do have a test rack as well, and let's get some energy just in case. Okay, so that's cool, and then we also need the the thing to actually write a dimension, this thing here. So I'm just going to go with an empty one and see what we get. Uh, one thing we do need is a bunch of these uh, crystal, uh, dimensional shards. So getting those would be amazing. Do I have an ender chest uh, by any chance? I do not. Let's make another one and also bring a diamond. I look like I'm preparing a lot and I know what I'm doing. I don't. And I probably forgot a few things. And did we complete any quests? We did not. I am surprised. There must be something I had to craft before because I'm pretty sure there's a quest line here for that stuff. There it is. Uh, I need the Dimlet Researcher. Okay, let's actually make this. Because we want to be proper here. I don't have another frame. Okay, I have enough of this flux stuff still. So that's good. Okay, there we go. Get this one and just grab all of these. Alright. Aha. I completed this. And then this. Oh, it gave us an empty tablet. See, I shouldn't have done that. Ugh, it wants me to make one of these. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it! I did it. And it actually gives us this charge portal, which is kind of cool. It's also like a teleporter. But I think it also prevents you from dying, <laughs> which is always a good thing. I'm not 100% sure at all. So let's put away some of these things we don't need. I don't need my uh, bow at this point. And let's have a quick look at greater one. Uh, I'm still waiting for that crazy bow to drop. Oh, some of these sponge. Yep, we've seen this all. Oops, I put away my smart book there. Nope, didn't mean to put that away either. Okay, and we have a good one. Great. <laughs> Amazing loot. Uh, you know what? Let's go charge this guy. Because I think if a world doesn't... I don't know if that's the right thing, though. No, it's actually it's a different item. Oh yeah, it's this one here. The field protect uh, generator. It uh, gives you temporary protection while visiting an unpowered dimension. We shouldn't run into that because our dimension should be powered because we're running it off our energy system here. But, you know. 
I don't know. Might as well bring it. Okay, so let's... Uh, I guess we can check out some of these blocks. So we have the researcher here. Of course, they all need power. So I'll put this down here. And you just put in your dimlets. And it will take a while. And you get like these... You know, they like translate them. Let's see what's inside. And then with these dimlets, you can uh, put them into these... Uh, what do I call it? Dimension tabs. To kind of describe your world. If you ever played with Miscraft, then it's very, very similar to that. Okay, so let's get the inscriber first. So this is where you put in your dimlets here to describe your world. Right now, I just want to make a completely empty random one. So I'll just don't put in anything at all. Uh, we get the builder. This is the device that actually creates our world. We can see it costs 11,000 IF per tick to create it. And then to maintain, to keep this world open, we need 323 IF per tick. So that's not a lot. That is pretty cheap, actually. And we'll put a... Um, transmitter here that is like to teleport that sends us to somewhere and when you create a world it automatically creates a receiver on the other end so you can like dial it from here be careful when you go through you need a way back right that's why you want to make this one because i can now shift right click and now wait target outside right click on receiver oh sorry it needs a receiver i guess good thing we made one and we, we don't need this because we have a teleporter but you set it to there and then you right click you know and you teleport back similar to um, our tablet here okay so that should be all good and we have that okay let's just go check it out see what kind of crazy world we get that sounds amazing already electro tine ore okay well some horse died Ooh. okay this <laughs> this is interesting i love this mountain but this is completely made out of electro tine um Okay, well, if we ever need some, here we go, I guess. There are some animals. Oh, yeah, fluid cows. Did I mention that I lost a lot of fuel, fluid cows? LPG? You know what? I will actually grab you. I think you might be useful in the future. Yeah, I lost all of my cows uh, due to stability, because I mined out the floor at one point, and I don't have any of my fluid cows, but I found one. The um, No, I have a couple. I shouldn't say any. I have a couple, but not the good ones. All the, um, oh, hooch. All the, what was it? Uh, the ones that I used for fuel, they were all gone. But I found a another one in the mining dimension. So this is interesting. <laughs> like I said, it's a lot of this stuff. Do I have my magnet? Let's turn it on. I guess we could uh, try to mine some of this. Oh, that is amazing for experience points. <laughs> if anything. Um, oh, you know what? We don't need our ender pouch anymore because I can just... Network has no power. Now that's a lie. Why is it saying that? I thought it was cross dimension. Hmm. Is it really out of power? I, it can't be. We're producing way more power than this. Pretty sure. That is interesting. Okay. Um, but yeah, that is great for experience points. Holy crap. Look at that. I don't need all this stuff. Well, in future I might need it, but... Yeah, look at that. It's not... Something is up there. Yeah, just teleport it back to see what's going on here. Uh, yes, it says we have no power left. Why is that? Oh, uh, it's because the thing is still filling up. So only until it's full it will s give the other stuff power again. But why are you not importing now? Am I using too many... I think I'm using... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, the AE system has no power now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Okay, for now, I hooked up my system to that solar panel and cut it off from the main one. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna take too long here, so it should be fine for now. Let's go back. How much is this? Yeah, it's still gonna take a while. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the, the main reason why I want to go through these worlds now is actually to find some, uh, well, first of all, find some buildings. Oh, what are you? You're so pink. Molt manilium. Ooh. Find some uh, some of these IF tool structures they ge that generate in this world that have, like, dimlets inside. But I'm also wondering if we can find more dimensional shards in here. I would think that they uh, spawn in this world. I'm not entirely sure, though. 
So, and now we have all of this other ore here, so this might be a little bit difficult to to test and find out. And I don't see any buildings yet either. Hmm. I might have to make a new world. Okay, having trouble finding that dimensional ore stuff again to use it as a filter. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'll say mine out this, uh, but do the inverse. So it will not mine this out. So I want to see what it finds here. Okay, snow. Okay, so we will stop that and we say, nope, <laughs> don't do that. Go. Nothing. Okay, so there's no dimensional shards. There's only snow and electrotine in here. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna make a completely new one again. Is it the same one? Oh, that is the same one. Uh, how do I not make that the same one? Maybe I need to leave this in here and then store it. Still says ID 5. Okay, I'm just gonna put one of these dimlets in here to make it different. Yeah, so now it's a different world, okay. See what we get this time. And this one is even cheaper actually. No, it's the same cost now, okay. That's ID 7. Not enough power. Man, this thing is power hungry, holy crap. All right, I just moved the builder to over here and powered with a combustion engine. And the uh, solar panel, so it doesn't drain my entire system like crazy. So that should be better now. Okay. And this one is completely charged now as well. So we should be able to teleport to the new world. All right. This is also made out of completely ores, mostly, I guess. Mercury ore. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know what to use this for. But I'll mine some. Uh, it makes mercury dust, as you maybe, or even ingots, maybe, would uh, guess. Make some tools, okay, some armor. Pretty good protection. Do I need this for anything else? You make invisible plates out of it, apparently. I don't know, but we have it now, so that's okay. And I guess I'll just use this back for now. Let's get rid of this, if you need it, we have it. Um, there's also some other things here. Some crazy spheres. This is just limestone. This looks like a different ore from a different planet as well. What is this? Oh, and there's one of these buildings. Jupiter Palladium. So maybe I don't even have to go to any of these planets. Palladium dust. Or ingots. Uh, it also makes some weird looking armor. <laughs> without texture almost. Okay. I never really fully understood that. Oh, there it is. Oh, you have to wait until it shows. I never fully understood this like extra planet stuff. I always felt like, ooh, creative dimension builder. Interesting. I always felt like they were a little bit lacking. Like it's just a different dimension with like absolutely nothing there. Uh, but this one is used for a tier five rocket. Okay, so that's actually good. Maybe the Mercury then is. Uh, a bit more useful as well. But yeah, we have these buildings here now. Enchant cubes. Let's go inside. That's the door. Boop. Okay. Yeah, we have some of these dimlets hanging on the wall. So we have Biome Desert M, uh, Controller Mountains, and a Minisio ore. So we could make a world completely out of Minisio. And then you also have some dimlets in here. This is not the fastest way to get these. I think there's a better way using, for example, um, Botania, which we'll do eventually. Uh, but this is not terrible, so we get a few at least of these things. Moon, Sky Buddy. Um, actually, the Minisi one, yeah, might be not too bad. So, what I would like to do. Oh, and actually, I think you can. They have this lamp here, so you can kind of like turn it on so you know, hey, I've been here already. So, I don't have to come back to this because you can see the light a little bit. But what I was thinking is make a world with RF tools that is a jungle type of world. Actually, do we have biomes of plenty? No, we don't. Okay, that's unfortunate. I love, uh, like I said, I love um, dimensional pattern too. I love jungle and ruins and it would be cool to build a base there. And I could make an entire world just out of ooh, Elysian forest. I wonder what that looks like. 
Uh, oh, Osmium. Uh, osmium or There's some really good stuff here. Uh, oh, good thing. Slime. You can make some pretty crazy worlds. Like if you make everything out of diamonds or I don't know. Is there like a draconium? Not that it's so useful. Yeah, there is one. So, yeah, you can make you can make crazy worlds. So I might just fly around a little bit and just check out some of these buildings. Molten Constanta. No, that might not be bad. I hate making that stuff. And yeah, I'll see what I can find. Ooh, we got the material nether diamond. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, I got the biome jungle M. Awesome. Jungle M means mountainous, so that is pretty cool as well. I like the mountains. All right, so I hooked up a chest to our dim uh, dimnet researcher and dumped in all the empty ones we had, and let them all research. And there's some pretty good ones. Uh, I think the digit seven one is that the highest? No, nine is the highest. What do we need for the dragon one? Because we need, we can create these dimlets here. I think. Uh, I'm not sure if it says, but this is rarity six. I think we need a six one for that. So. Uh, you know, there's some really good stuff in here. There is some ores, there is some liquid, uh, yellow right, not sure if that's super useful though. But yeah, it's pretty cool, we can definitely make some, some worlds out of this. So I wonder if we just make, let's go with this, um, let's take out, where's our dimension over here? Let's take that out, it should be fine. It's night time, so it's not charging up, of course. Extract, we get these back, right? Yes, so if I just put in the terrain normal one, because we need one with stone, <laughs> otherwise I don't think we can find the uh, the, uh, the dimensional shards we need. So let's create this world, I'm gonna go sleep real quick, so this one gets power. Okay, should be able to dial this now, there we go, and let's go check out this world. Hopefully it's not instable or anything like that. It, I think it can give you like negative effects as well. Ooh, it's a mushroom island. That's pretty good. Um, I think if I make my world, I have weakness and resistance. When I make my world, I will probably use the. I don't know if I can use like, um, the mushroom thing, and then the jungle or something. Probably not. But it would be nice to have something that prevents mobs from spawning in your world. It might be kind of cool. But uh, we have other ways to do that as well. Uh, what do we have here? Color gold, some more empty ones, and bright night green fork, another tin. Okay, but we want to check out what we can mine here now. So this should be a lot better because we don't have those crazy ores everywhere. So let's actually go. Yeah, we can see normal stone here, and let's go nuts. Don't see anything yet. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Our uh, inventory is always so full, isn't it? Okay. I would like a one shard so I can find them easily. Uh, it says below level 40, I think, from what I read. So we actually have to go further down. This is 48. This is 41. Okay, so something below here. And it should be pretty... Oh, there they are. Awesome. Okay, so get rid of this stuff. It's pretty annoying. There we go. Okay, so this is the stuff we need, dimensional shards, so I can silk that sh this, pretty cool. And now if we go back to the surface, we should just be able to put down our digital miner and let this mine out automatically. So we go reset, uh, we can delete this one, and we say, there we go. Okay, and we don't do inverse, and this is only uh, below 40, I know that, I looked it up, so we might as well do that. And, ooh, nope. Was it still in reverse? Reverse is off. Is it, like, confused right now? I did it. <laughs> so it had to be item dictionary, not material. Uh, we had the same issue with the... One of the ores in the ether. So, okay, so that's cool. So it's finally finding them. I'll just put down a tesseract here. Uh, let's just set to power it. Cool. I should really... No, that's pretty... Oh, silk touch. We don't need silk touch. Uh, actually, how much do we get out of this, though? 
Is there a way to get a crazy amount? Well, this gives quite a bit, but other than that, so smelting doesn't make sense. I believe you can fortune these, but... Uh, we get two out of the... Hmm. But it does require like 10,000 more power to do that, right? I think I'll let this go like this and then just... Because we have infinite, it just takes a little bit longer in, in total maybe, because depending on how much we need. Uh, what's the actual quest for that? How much do we need for that? The whole stack, okay. Okay, there's that quest. And then the rest is like, what is that? Machine infuser. Block protector. I wonder if there's anything... Oh, this one we already did, right? This one we already did. And then these guys. We could actually complete this whole tree right now as well if we wanted to. Probably. Okay, let's make this machine infuser. So with this one we can infuse certain machines with using these dimensional shards, I think. And then... Uh, some of these, let's see. Uh, can we look up... Dimensional Builder. I think if we hold shift. So it reduced power consumption and faster dimension creation. So this is pretty good for blocks like these, I guess. So if I take this out... And actually I should... Make sure I get this out of there. I don't know if I can do that. And then we hook up the... This guy. I'll put it down here for now. So I think you put these inside and then the dimension builder, for example. Oh, it's gonna lead a ton of shards though, you can see that. Okay, so a whole stack seems to do 25%. That's not terrible. Uh, we could do that. I don't have a ton right now, of course, yeah. So we won't do that at the moment, but I think even this little bit should help a little bit, right? I'm not sure, I didn't pay attention to <laughs> to what I said before, but maybe, uh, maybe that will be fine. Okay, then we have to make the block protector as well. I don't know what this thing is at all. Can I make these? Yes, the shields are actually pretty cool. I, I've used those before, but I haven't used this machine yet. Okay, block protector. And then we only need these. Dimlet storage, or dictionary, and generic. There we go. Completed. Pretty awesome. Let's open our bags. Come back giant chance cube. We should probably open some again very soon. And two epic ones. Weatherproof blocks. And some garbage. So actually now that we have these uh, dimlet storage thing. Can I put these in there? Oh, I can't put them together. Okay, so that goes in here. I wonder if that's better for our thing over here. Instead of using the chest. Uh, is my magnet on? My magnet is on. Let's get rid of this. Oh, watch it now. You need to be careful when I will shift there. So I don't know why this one is better. Extend uh, with stimulus specific cap capabilities. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that is like better than... Uh, oh, because you can re use it. Okay, you can sort it by rarity and stuff now. Ah, I got you. I have this broken one here as well. That's kind of weird. You know, to upgrade our armor, we actually needed these plates here, which needed some of these dimensional infused diamonds as well. So we can actually work on that as well if we wanted to. It looks like we'll need quite a bit though, so this might be worth setting up as a auto crafting. Uh, but that will take a while to do because I need to like use some uh, Botania stuff as well. We need the mana infused diamonds and we can probably automate this a little bit easier too. Um, but yeah, so we do have our, you know, we finally get our dimensional shards now. I have my digital miner going, so that's awesome. Uh, we we are able to make our own dimensions now, so I could actually start looking into what kind of dimension I want to make. Like I mentioned, um, I would like to go in like a desert, probably, most likely. So I might research a little bit to see what I need to do to get like a stable world going. So it doesn't like corrupt and stuff. And maybe next time I'll have that ready, and then we could probably already start building over there and move our base over to the other area. And we'll also look into upgrading our armor maybe. That might be kinda cool. But yeah, I'm gonna have to end the episode here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.